Hey guys, this week I am traveling for Christmas and we have pulled over at, where are we? <laughs> We're in Scarborough. We pulled over at Valley Village in Scarborough and I'm gonna just go inside and see, oh it's chilly, see what kind of things we can find that I think are neat. I'll show you everything I think is fantastic and let you know how much it was too. So, let's go. I was so excited to be in the big city in Toronto and right away I started finding really cool stuff. How cute is this monkey with the bowl on top of his head? I thought he was really great. So I'm going to do the same thing as last week where I just pull out anything that I think is interesting and unique like this beautiful porcelain lidded dish and show it to you guys and then I'm gonna try and show you the price as well. I know a lot of you asked me to show you the price so here's another show you the price video. The most interesting teacup I think the lid was taped onto it and it looked like a bit of a dome but I think it was a teacup. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm right. This shop is in a bit of an older neighborhood and I think that it's also a really multicultural neighborhood. So there were treasures here from all over the world like these gorgeous soapstone panels. Some really great Asian vases in the store as well. This one was particularly pretty. I really don't know how to tell um, on these Asian vases what is old and what is a newer reproduction, but they had that one priced pretty high. Of course, going down my favorite aisle, the wooden aisle. This was adorable. I wish I had a place on my desk to put it. You can file your envelopes and letters, maybe put some pens, really sweet carved wood. And this coach purse just sitting here. I guess somebody had thought about purchasing it and this is where they were when they decided they no longer wanted it. Cute bag. I have one really similar so I didn't buy it myself but I'm sure someone else picked it up pretty quickly after me for 20 bucks. I love dollar horses. If this one wasn't plain white and kind of scuffed it would have come home with me for sure. This base was etched brass, super expensive. Again, I'm not sure how to tell what these quality Asian pieces are. Maybe these are a bit older and the people working in the shops just know that. Super sweet bookends too. So much good stuff at this location. Not really sure what you do with this brass decanter. If you could water your plants with it or if it's strictly ornamental, but I thought it was really great.
Let me know in the comments below if you collect Disney. There is a sweet set of Mickey and Minnie glasses. I do find these from time to time and I'm sure a collector snapped these up. This is much more my style, cottage, cozy, winter vibes scene, pretty painted pot. This could look really sweet beside your coffee maker to fill it up with water in the morning. Cozy cabin vibes. I really like these. They are vintage sets and from what I understand you put your chips in the bottom and your dip in the top. And this one wins the award for the largest sugar holder I've ever seen. <laughs> Furniture section here was teeny tiny, but I thought I would give it a look through just in case. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny, but there's someone over there screaming, hurry, help me, hurry, help me, and he needs a bathroom, and he's looking for the bathroom. <laughs> it's not funny. Um, these are kind of fun. You never know in the big cities um, who you're going to come across and what crazy situations you're going to find in these stores. Textiles were really lovely. This one tempted me and I'm thinking I probably should have taken it home. Isn't that neat? There were so many lovely things from all over the world at this location, and I will definitely try this spot out again in the future. Some good 80s shoes as well. The boot selection here was absolutely fabulous and you're gonna see me find a pair of Adidas Yeezy moon boots, which I did a quick Google on and they are actually very valuable. So I'm gonna try poshing these or maybe um, using another app. They had hunters. Um, boots from Coach, really great selection of boots. I did take the one pair home to try and flip for a profit. What do you guys think? Is it a bench? <laughs> Thanks so much for coming along with me on another price tag edition. And we have a few more shops to explore in the future. 
So I'll see you back here next week with a brand new video. Happy thrifting and happy Christmas.